Andrew. And I'm Danielle. And for this class. Come join us today to read the book. And, read a book. And play and, a game together? Yeah. Okay. Would that be fun? Yeah. What's the book name? Do you have an idea? Okay, so today we're going to read a very interesting book that I really love so much. Uh, it is called Hand a Surprise and it is by Eileen Brown. The children featured in this book are from a tribe in Kenya. So reading this book as will take us to Kenya as if we're discovering this country, discovering their culture, what do they wear, how do they carry things, and maybe what do they eat? I don't know. Let's check. I don't know what to eat. Okay. Hand a surprise. A lot of fruits. Like a fruit and vegetables. Vegetables? Did you yeah. fruits? Okay. Yeah. Let's start. Handa put seven delicious fruits in a basket for her friend, Akio. Do you recognize any of these fruits here, Jude? Yeah. Banana. Pineapple. Avocado. Avocado. Passion. Passion. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Guava. Guava. And mango, mango, orange, and orange. Are they seven? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Count them again. You count them two times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. We started with a banana, so we stopped before the banana. I told you to put it on your head. What's this? This is to put the basket on her head so it doesn't fall down. Yeah. Let's see. She will be surprised, thought Handa, as she set off for Akeo's village. How is she carrying the basket? On her head. On her head. I wonder which fruit she'll like best. What do you think? Which fruit she likes best? I don't know. Let's read and see. Would she like the soft yellow banana? Uh oh, the monkey is taking the banana. Oopsie, and did Hannah notice that? No. No. Let's see what will happen next. Or the sweet smelling guava. He's coming to eat it. Oh, the ostrich took the guava? <laughs> yes. And Hannah still doesn't know? No. Will she like the round, juicy orange? Uh oh, there's the zebra taking the banana. Taking the banana? No. What is it taking? It's taking uh, the orange. The orange? It seems all the animals are hungry. They're taking the fruits. Let's see what happened next. Or the ripe red mango. Uh oh, the elephant is taking the mango and he can it with his... He took it with his trunk? Yeah. He's doing this with her. And then gonna put it in its mouth. Yeah. Will she like this spiky uh -oh. leafed pineapple? The, 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 the giraffe is taking the pineapple. Oh. How many left? How many fruits are left in the basket? Uh, one, two. Only two. And she put seven, right? Okay. The creamy green avocado. Uh oh. Kazan took the avocado. Let's see. Or the tangy purple passion fruit. Uh oh. Parrot? Parrot take the took the passion fruit. And is there any fruits left in the basket? No. There's no more. No more. And then what is she going to give Akeo? Do you know? No. Let's see what will happen next. What's happening here? She, What's that? He's stuck. Oh, a gold is tied. 
And, and what is the goat trying to do? Going. Trying to escape? Did the goat manage to escape? Yeah. And then what happened? He bumped head on the tree and then this came down on the basket. Oh, so the tangerines fell down in the basket and Handa was thinking in her head, which fruit will Akeo like best? So she still doesn't know, right? Tangerines, said Akeo, my favorite fruit. Tangerines? What? Said Handa. That is a surprise. It was like, what? What? <laughs> yeah. And did they enjoy eating that together? Yeah. Yes. At the end. The end. What do you think of this book? You like it? Mm. I like this book so much. Because while we were reading this book, we got introduced to some shapes of the fruits and colors, a different culture than ours. It took us to Kenya and what did we notice here? We saw their different way of clothing and then how do they do their hair and how about how do they carry their stuff? Do we carry things in a bag in our hand? They carry things on their head? That's right. It's so interesting to know different things about different people. True? After reading this book, we got an idea to play a game. Yes, and that game is a guessing game to see uh, how do a fruit look like or taste like and to make your child guess that. So what do we need for that, Jude? Let's put the book on the side. You need colors. You need Scissors to cut, a paper, and that's it. that's it. So we already we have already done that. So we got a cardboard and we draw a pineapple and we cut it. And then we did draw an orange, a banana, a guava, a mango, and an avocado. And what do you have in your hand? I'm Is that a passion fruit? Yeah, I'm cutting it. Okay, I know you enjoy cutting. Okay. So you see what did you cut? A passion fruit. This is really a simple game. You just lay the cards in front of your child and ask them some questions from the book or about the fruits that you need to ask. So let's start. Jude, which fruit that you see here is yellow and is soft? Banana. Can you show it to our friends? You have to turn it, mommy. Banana, great. Let's put it on the side. Okay, which fruit is have green spiky leaves? Spiky leaves. Spiky, yes. Can you show it to our friends? It's a pineapple. Okay. You can see. Yeah, it's okay. Which fruit is round, juicy, and orange? It's an orange. Orange. You can it. see. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> Hello. How about a green and creamy fruit? Cream. Green and creamy. That's an avocado. Avocado. Good job. How about a red fruit? That's a mango. Mango. Do you like mango? Okay. We still have two. So, which fruit has a really nice smell and a strong smell? This one. The passion fruit? Actually, the guava have a very strong smell. Even if you don't cut it and you're passing by in the supermarket and if it was there, you can smell it. No? It's the guava. The strong smell. Yes. And then... I, I smell it. <laughs> Does it smell? No. no. Okay. How about... How about... A purple tangy fruit. It's the passion fruit. So you can have these ones, you can repeat them, you can uh, add different flavors, ask about flavors or colors, and they will really enjoy that. And at the beginning, they will enjoy coloring these and then cutting these before that. So, do you think that's it for today? Yeah, really. Okay, let's tell our friends first. 
color. Then we will do some more colorings. Okay. Eat well and okay. stay well. Eat and stay well. Goodbye. Goodbye.